Module 2. Managing Marketing Information to Gain Customer Insights In the intricate dance of modern marketing, understanding the customer is paramount. To this end, managing marketing information is not just about gathering data, it's about gaining insights that are actionable and insightful. This requires a disciplined approach known as marketing research. This systematic process involves the design, collection, and analysis of data specifically aimed at resolving marketing challenges faced by an organization, making it an integral part of an organization's market research. The journey of marketing research begins with defining the problem and setting objectives. Once the direction is clear, a research plan takes shape. This plan is a blueprint that outlines the types of data needed and the methods to be used in their collection. It will determine whether the research will rely on primary data, which is gathered firsthand for the specific research purpose, or secondary data, which is pre-existing data used to support the research. Primary data is akin to a custom-made suit, tailored to fit the exact needs of the research. Methods such as observational research, where customer behavior is watched and analyzed, and questionnaires, which can probe with both closed-end and open-end questions, are pivotal. An open-end question invites a respondent to provide insights in their own words, offering depth and richness to the data collected. For example, asking, what do you consider most important in choosing a car garners detailed responses reflective of individual preferences and priorities. Secondary data, on the other hand, is like a ready-made garment. It's already available and can be a cost-effective alternative to primary data. A company might examine existing employee morale surveys to gauge the impact of policy changes or a food distributor may analyze government health statistics to identify potential markets for a new health-conscious product. An organization's internal database, typically containing sales records and customer interactions, is a goldmine of secondary data. Marketing intelligence complements these efforts by continuously scanning the external environment to collect and analyze data regarding market trends, competitor strategies, and changes in consumer behavior. It involves keeping tabs on conversations on social media, monitoring industry news, and staying attuned to the broader socioeconomic landscape. Once the data is gathered, whether from primary or secondary sources, the last step in the marketing research process is the interpretation of findings. This is where data is transformed into intelligence, insights are drawn, and strategic decisions are made. Interpretation is the lighthouse guiding companies through the fog of information, illuminating the path forward. In the context of channel differentiation, marketers can gain a competitive advantage by innovating the ways in which they deliver and sell products. Unique distribution channels, creative selling platforms, or exceptional customer service can distinguish a company in the marketplace, creating a distinctive brand experience that elevates it above its competitors. Marketing information is a meticulous process that blends the science of research with the art of insight. Through the strategic collection and analysis of data, organizations can peer into the minds of their customers, anticipate market shifts, and carve out a competitive edge. By understanding not only what data to collect, but also how to interpret it, companies can make informed decisions that propel them to new heights of market success. Understanding Consumer and Business Buyer Behavior Welcome to the fascinating exploration of the forces and factors that shape the buying behavior of consumers and businesses. As we delve into this chapter, we'll uncover not just how purchases are made, but also why they are made, taking into account a variety of influences from the psychological to the strategic. Let's begin with consumer buying behavior, which can be envisioned as a marketplace dance, choreographed by the four PS, product, price, place, and promotion. Each P plays a specific role in attracting and persuading consumers. Products must align with consumer needs and desires, while the price must reflect the perceived value and be within the economic reach of the target market. Place, or distribution, ensures that products are conveniently accessible, and promotion encompasses the communication strategies used to inform and entice potential buyers. Together, these elements create a symphony that resonates with the consumer, leading them toward the decision to purchase. Beyond the tangible elements of the 4PS, we must consider the psychological factors that invisibly weave through the consumer's decision-making fabric. 
Motivation is the inner force that propels a consumer towards a purchase, driven by needs and wants. Perception is the lens through which a consumer views a product or service, colored by their experiences and environment. Learning occurs with each interaction, subtly shifting future behavior, while beliefs and attitudes form a long-lasting backdrop that can support or hinder product acceptance. For instance, consider a family, which is a social factor that influences buying behavior, deciding on a vacation destination. Their motivation might be relaxation or adventure. Their perception of potential locations could be influenced by past vacations, promotions they've seen, or recommendations from friends. Their learning from previous trips will guide their expectations, and their beliefs and attitudes towards travel will ultimately influence their choice. Now, let's shift our focus to the business buying process, which is a more formalized journey often triggered by problem recognition. When a company identifies a gap that impedes its operations or objectives, it initiates a process to find a solution, be it a product or a service. This phase is critical as it sets the parameters for what will be considered as a viable purchase. In the business realm, buying situations can vary significantly. A straight rebuy is the routine purchase of items that a business regularly needs, which often involves minimal decision-making effort. A modified rebuy adds a twist, the company has purchased these items before, but is looking to make some changes, maybe in quantity, specifications, or supplier. This situation requires a careful reassessment of the available options. Then, there's the new task, a situation that presents both a golden opportunity and a formidable challenge for marketers. It's a chance to establish a new relationship and fill a gap in a company's purchasing portfolio. However, it requires marketers to thoroughly understand the unique needs and risks perceived by the business entering uncharted purchasing territory. The new task buying situation is a unique landscape where a marketer must navigate the unknown. It demands an in-depth understanding of the client's business needs, meticulous attention to detail, and a tailored approach to communication and product offering. In this scenario, a marketer must be both a guide and a visionary, leading the client through the new terrain while showcasing the potential of an untested product or service. The marketer's ability to address this dual role can make the difference between a successful pitch and a missed opportunity. Understanding consumer and business buyer behavior is a complex, dynamic endeavor. It requires a delicate balance of knowledge about the four PS, the subtleties of psychological factors, and the specifics of the business buying process and various buying situations. Armed with this understanding, you're now better equipped to recognize the interplay of these elements in real-world buying scenarios. Whether it's identifying the social factors that sway consumer decisions or seizing the opportunity in a new task buying situation, you have the insights to navigate the marketplace with confidence.